Hi, I'm Beryl, and we're back with part two of toasts, bread toast. <laughs> the first episode was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. I had to do another one, and honestly, there might even be a third. Asha's best friend came over today, and um, I'm trying to film when there's a puppy play date happening. And before we get started, I wanted to talk about the artwork behind me. I've decided moving forward that all of the artwork that you guys see is going to be from artists from this community. So the art that you see today is all by a Chilean illustrator who goes by the name Anemone. Her real name is Maciel. I'm very excited. I love supporting artists. I love artwork. I'm going to be leaving all of her information in the description box, her store, her Instagram handle so you can follow her. With that, let's eat toast. Hi, my name is Fatoni and I live in Bali, Indonesia. My favorite bread for toast is roti bandung, which is a small sized regular white bread with a soft crust. And my favorite filling is choco cheese. For the chocolate, we are commonly using chocolate sprinkles. Yes, sprinkles. And it is combined with a processed cheddar cheese. Take two slices of bread, spread all sides with margarine or butter, then put good amount of chocolate sprinkle. After that, add a good amount of grated cheese. Then drizzle some condensed milk to make it stickier and then top it with another bread and grill them like you grill a grilled cheese sandwich. For me, it is such a lovely dessert with a combination of sweet and savory which balance each other. And it is also very close to my heart because it reminds me of my childhood a lot Roti bakar is a very common dish in Indonesia and it is sold as a street food and it is so good that it could fulfill your sweet tooth cravings and I kinda want to order one. Roti bandung. Honestly, this is the first thing I've eaten today and this feels like the way to start. Sprinkles and cheese. <laughs> Oh my god! Because I've done quite a few of these cheese with dessert things now, um, this combination makes perfect sense and holy... I mean, if there ever was a perfect dessert toast, this might be it. It's funny because it is like grilled cheese meets the concoction of five-year-old me where I can imagine when I was younger, I would have been like, put some sprinkles on that. And my mom would have been like, absolutely not. And here I am. Who's laughing now? I think one of the things that does make this so good to me is the cheese. If it was just sprinkles and it was just chocolate toast, like, yeah, it would have been fine. But adding the cheese gives you that like, side door salty. <laughs> but like, that's what, that's what it is. And I really like it. Hi everyone, my name is Mobina. I live in Tehran in Iran. My favorite toast is uh, with sangak bread, tabrizi cheese, cucumber and tomato and some of my favorite uh, herbs and also with a walnut. To make that toast, you have to cut your sangak bread in a square shape. Toast your bread. Add a layer of a cheese on top of that. I use Tabrizi cheese, but if you don't have that, you can also use feta cheese. A slice cucumber and tomato and add it on the top of the cheese. Chop some of your favorite herbs. My favorite one, it is a mint, basil, radish, and a spring onion. And also chop some walnut. Add these to your toast. It is so delicious and it's very nostalgic for me. It reminds me the time and the days I go to the school and I eat this for my breakfast. I hope you make that toast and enjoy that. So this is Iranian flatbread called Sangak. Okay, look at this bread. Look at this bread. Can you? It's 
It's huge. I couldn't believe that I found this. I could not find the cheese, but I used feta cheese. So, you know, substitutions. <laughs> okay. Mmm. I mean, yeah, it tastes like a garden. I'm gonna try the bread. So the bread has like a really strong sesame taste to it. And it's spongy. I love the amount of fresh herbs in this. Mm. It is just so welcoming. Like you eat it and it brightens your whole mouth. Obviously, I think a big part of this is about the bread, which is not gonna be readily available to a lot of people. But if you can find this bread, it's pretty impressive. I'm very curious about how they make this bread. It's just so long. Wait, it has information on here. In Persian, sangak means little stone. The bread was usually baked on a bed of small pebbles or stones in an oven. Sangak bread was traditionally the bread of the Persian army. Each soldier carried a small quantity of pebbles, which at camp were brought together to create the sangak oven. They would bake the bread for the entire army. Wait, that is so cool. I feel very differently about the bread now. Everyone carrying around their pebbles, what an amazing story. Teamwork makes the dream work, or the, the bread bake. <laughs> Hi, my name is Belen. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And my favorite toast is white bread with butter and dulce de leche. Dulce de leche is a sweet caramelly spread. It's very popular here in Argentina and in most of Latin America. We have it with everything. You can find it everywhere because we just love it and we are so proud of it. <laughs> So first you toast the bread, then you spread some room temperature butter on top, and then you add a nice thick coat of dulce de leche on top. This is a staple toast for breakfast and snacks in Argentina, and we usually have it with coffee or with mate, which is a Argentinian beverage. Dulce de leche is delicious, butter is delicious, and bread is delicious. So this just goes perfectly together. Yum! I mean, it's just so decadent. My husband and I actually went to Argentina together a couple of years ago and I was quite surprised at how prolific this ingredient was. Honestly, whether it was in a cookie or on toast, I mean, talk about a beloved ingredient. That is that. It's just like velvety smoothness. You know what this would be good with? Cheese. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just gonna try it. I just feel like I've done so many of these cheese and sweet things. I have some cheddar here. It's so good. <laughs> I'm officially converted. I truly believe cheese has its place on everything sweet. If you think it needs cheese, the answer is yes. This is what growth is. <laughs> I've expanded my palate officially. Hi, Bera, and hi, everyone. This is Bera from Jordan. My favorite kind of toast is not a new thing. It is very common in the Middle East, especially in Jordan, Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria. It is mainly our beloved za'atar. So my favorite toast uh, basically includes za'atar, olive oil, lemonade, mint leaves, tomatoes, cucumbers, and pickled green olives. You need to mix some za'atar with olive oil to make a fairly thin paste. You spread it over one piece of bread. So you need to spread some lebanese on toast. The kind of lebanese I use is lebanese bowls. Those come in olive oil filled jars. It looks great and it tastes delicious. It is more salty. Then you cut some cucumbers, tomatoes, and olives. 
and you get to some whole mint leaves and ta-da! It's just delicious, it's savory and it is perfect for dinner. We always have uh, zaatar sandwiches, zaatar menekish on Friday mornings or in cold weather we gather together and we have zaatar. So this is the Jordanian toast. It is so colorful. It looks so beautiful. Oh my God. For those of you who are not that familiar with Lebna, it is a strained goat's milk yogurt in essence. So it's very, very thick. You could kind of make it with your own yogurt if you just strained all the water out of it. It has so much flavor and it's honestly one of my favorite things. This is just like so fresh, so fresh. Zatar has this really beautiful flavor. It's a spice blend of like oregano, thyme, sumac, marjoram, se sesame seeds. It's very distinctive and just so good. You can put it on bread. You could do, I mean, you can do a lot, but traditionally it's put on bread. That big tub of Zatar that I have, my sister brought it back for me the last time she was in Jordan. And if some of you know, some of you don't, my sister has a nonprofit that she operates out of Jordan. I will leave a link to it if you want to help support it. We have Zatar on a lot of things in our household. You guys have asked me a lot if some of the foods that I eat I incorporate into my daily eating life. This will be one of them, like a hundred percent. It's so good. Plus now I have that big jar of love in there, so kind of have to. <laughs> G'day, I'm Adam, and I live on the mid-north coast of New South Wales in Australia. So my favourite bread is white, thick-cut bread from the local bakery, and I love to have it with Vegemite cheese. Vegemite is quintessentially Australian, and just about every household in Australia will have a jar or two. Vegemite is intensely savoury with uh, sort of umami and saltiness to it. So the trick with Vegemite toast is lots of butter, butter while it's hot, use a little bit of Vegemite and the butter helps spread the Vegemite over the toast and then I like to put some sliced cheese on top. And with the butter and the cheese it sort of cuts through it all and just goes together deliciously. Final dish and I'm ending with Vegemite, I just felt like it was the way to go. Vegemite's one of those ingredients where I kind of feel like its reputation precedes it and it's known for being, you know, like maybe it's not for everybody. I also went a little bit rogue and I did half avocado and Vegemite and half cheese and Vegemite because a lot of people also said to do that. But I'm gonna start with Adam's recommendation of cheese and Vegemite. It's delicious. The Vegemite has like, it is a, it's a staunch flavor. Like kind of lingering in a weird way. He's right, like it is very savory. And the cheese is nice because it's got this nice fattiness, which I guess the avocado will do too. We're gonna try avocado. Ooh, I might be team avocado and Vegemite, which almost feels like the ultimate Australian toast. Do I do them together? That was a lot. When I posted an image on Instagram that I had bought Vegemite, so many of you responded being like, don't, don't spread, spread it too thick, it's not metallic, metallic. Keep, keep it thin, keep it thin. thin. So I kept that in mind. Honestly, I like it. Like this jar will definitely be eaten. I don't think that people should fear Vegemite. I think this is delicious. I think maybe everyone just puts too much on. So that's it for toast video number two. And there will be a third one. I'm going to try to maybe space it out a little bit. And with that, I will see you all in my next video.